Sitting on top of uh, Upper Table Rock today uh, as part of the uh, BLM program to bring school kids up here. The kids love coming up here. They learn a lot about geology, about uh, plant life and wildlife of Table Rocks. Uh, it reinforces a lot of the stuff we do in the Oregon State Standards for Science. We find it really important for our kids because these days they don't get out into nature very often and uh, things like trail etiquette is foreign to them. Um, nature appreciation is foreign to them so to get them up here and have them experience nature firsthand is pretty important. It's great to to get to to hike the trails with all the kids and to see them interact. It's great because we have a guide come the week before our hike and tell us about um, what we're gonna see and what we need to be aware of. The talks along the trail, the guides, um, they're very knowledgeable and the kids are able to learn about the geology of the area um, how the table rocks were formed. Um, they talk about the food that the Native Americans were able to get up here and uh, they, they really seem to enjoy it. It's just nice that it's here in their own backyard. I learned how Native Americans like use flowers and roots of the plants to eat and stuff. I learned that the Oregon State tree is the Douglas fir. I learned that jackrabbits look uh, way different than I thought they did. Oh, um, buckrush is really sticky. Something that I learned today, or there, there are these microscopic water bears, and their skin is like wax paper, and they live in <laughs> moss, and they can survive in space and 320 degrees below freezing, and one a million miles below the water surface. Usually a kid like me from far away doesn't really get a chance to go and see the wildlife that we have in Oregon. And to be able to come to this trip and just take pictures of all the wildlife and flora that's growing in Oregon is just a wonderful experience.